This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning at Business and Life podcast, where business leaders share their insights. It is six questions in seven minutes because successful business leaders are busy and rarely have more time to spare. So let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, please tell me who you are and what you do. Sure, pleasure, pleasure to be here. Sam Cagliucci, I'm the founder and I'm the CEO of One Huddle. Uh, we are a game platform for workforce training. So we know that companies struggle to onboard, upskill, and fire up workers now more than ever. So we built a tech product that allows companies to not just skill people up quickly, but do it in a manner that is fun, engaging, and creates excitement along the way. Sam, it's great to have you on the show. Question number two, what's the best thing about working in your industry? Probably the best thing about working in our industry is the fact that we get to interact with so many different types of uh, not just workers but different types of industries so there's a lot of tech startups that maybe pick a specific vertical or a specific industry and at one huddle it's exciting to be, know that we work in about a dozen different verticals so you know we could be talking to a hospital in the morning and then a sports team in the late morning and then a hotel in the afternoon and then a the u.s air force in the evening so uh, that, that excitement and uh, Agility is, is really exciting. And uh, it's fun to have that kind of variety as well, I imagine. Absolutely. That's great. Question number three. I have a fictitious book with all the answers for business. What chapter would you think most companies should read? I always read, the, I always read from the back forward. <laughs> so I'm a big believer in, I'm a big believer in you got to get, get to the point, get to the end. I always start with understanding what the, what the core message is. Uh, and I would start there and then I would, uh, as my employees say, swallow the book. <laughs> I love it. That's very insightful. Question number four, other than the generic work harder, have a great attitude and care for customers, what advice or insight would you give to other business leaders? Culture matters. It's something that today is we now uh, operate from a distance at times, we're remote, uh, or even if we are in person, the focus being on just the business model, the strategy or the tactics or the, or the, uh, the, the day-to-day -day process is important. But I know that our company has succeeded to where we've gotten by getting the most out of each individual person on our team. And that, that starts with our culture code that we have at One Huddle. And that's extremely critical, especially as companies hope to develop their people over time and keep them. If you don't have a culture code that everybody rallies around, it's going to be really tough for you to, to scale to wherever you might want to go. Mm -hmm. And that culture code, I like how you, how you place the, or you, you say that, that culture code also is, uh, I would imagine, really powerful when things aren't going so well and the stress mounts. Absolutely. You're absolutely. As a, again, as a startup for us specifically, we get told no a heck of a lot more than we're told yes. Uh, being comfortable with failing in our sales process, in our service process, in our product and engineering process, but learning from it and iterating on it. You know, one of the one of the core values at One Huddle is toughness. And we define that very specifically internally, but it has to do with being okay with the struggle and and learning from it. So that is a you know that's really really why that the. the culture component of what we do is so critical to developing a team that is resilient. Mm -hmm. That's very, very powerful. Question number five, what other business leader like yourself would you like to acknowledge and invite to be on my podcast? I'd love to invite Paul Epstein. Paul Epstein is a, a, was a client of ours and has become a friend. He runs a very successful uh, new consulting business out of uh, the LA area, Paul was a sales leader for the San Francisco 49ers football club and worked all across the sports industry. I think it'd be awesome uh, for your, for the audience. Wonderful. I'll reach out to Paul. Thank you. And our final question, question number six, please tell me about your first job. My first job was uh, Bally Total Fitness. So I was r right into college. I was uh, grew up in a family that provided a lot of opportunities for me, but I had to grow up pretty quickly and I wanted to work in fitness. So the first, first place I went was the place I would go to every day, which is the gym. 
And I applied to be a personal trainer at 18 years old, did one of those quick and dirty certifications that really didn't teach me much. But I, uh, I learned a heck of a lot uh, as a personal trainer uh, at, at Bally's. I don't know if there's any of them left. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I I think there is on the West Coast um, because I I remember seeing the sign not not that long ago. So I think they, I think they're uh, I think they're still around. So Sam, thanks so much for being on the show. How can people find you? So if you want to find uh, One Huddle or myself, you can connect with us at our website www.onehuddle.co, uh, and you can also uh, find us on LinkedIn and Twitter. Perfect. This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning a Business and Life podcast. For more insights and ideas, please go to LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, or iTunes and search for the Winning a Business and Life podcast. Thanks for listening.